we're going to discuss the activity 2, week 2, last quarter. Triangulation is a method that uses distance information to determine from three seismic stations to uniquely locate the earthquake. On the map, circles are drawn around each seismic station. The radius of the circle are scaled to the estimated distance from the stations to the earthquake. Katulad ng nasa example na 1,640 km, Multiply by 1 cm. Divide, divide per 100 km. Cancel the same unit. Is equal to 4.1 cm. Ganoon to rin ang gagawin sa location ng Marikina and Montenlupa. 1,600 km. Multiply by 1 cm. Divided by 400 km. Cancel the same time unit. Is equal to 4 cm. 1,040 km multiplied by 1 cm divided by 400 km. Cancel the same unit is equal to 2.6 cm. Sumukat mula sa South Caloocan ng 4.1 cm gamit ang ruler at lagyan ito ng araw. Gamit naman ng kompas, gumuhit ng radius na ayos mula sa sukat na 4.1 cm at simulan ang radius sa parte na nilagyan ng arrow sign. Sa Marikina naman at Montinlupa ay ganun din katulad ng unang seismic station na ginawa. Question number one. Where is the earthquake located? The earthquake located at the key. Guide question number two. What do you call the method that you use to locate the earthquake epicenter? We use triangulation method. Guide question number three. What do you call the location of earthquake that you have identified using the triangulation method? It is earthquake epicenter. The epicenter is the point on the Earth's surface vertically above the hypocenter or focus point in the crust where a seismic rupture begins. I question number four. What is the importance of determining the location of the earthquake epicenter? To identify the fault that ruptured causing by earthquake. That's, That's all. all. Thank, Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Guide question number two. What do you call? Hi, naku. Triangulation is a method that uses distance information to uniquely locate the earthquake.